Hi guys, as the second part of a tire contact patch, I will explain the tire behavior of static loading, which means a very slow increment of load on the tire in four different degree of freedom, a vertical, longitudinal, lateral, and the rotational deformation about the Z axis. Contents will be quiz, diffraction, and the rotational deformation, and conclusion. As usual, I prepare the quiz for you. Uh, what is the right statement on tire damping? Select two among followings. Number one, tire damping increase with a vehicle speed. Number two, tire damping decrease with vehicle speed. Tire damping increase with the frequency of loading. Number four, tire damping decrease with the frequency of loading. Uh, let's study hysteresis curve on vertical force versus diffraction. Uh, the concept of hysteresis is loading and unloading curves shows different shapes respectively as shown in the picture. When loading, a load increases from zero with experiencing upper green curves. Here, when unloading, a load decreases to zero with experiencing a lower green curve. The reason why the curves of loading and unloading are different to each other is that internal energy enclosed by green curves is dissipating by internal friction. Let's look into some of hysteresis cycle characteristics on force versus deflection. Energy for loading is bigger than that for unloading because of damping. Without the movement, amount of damping has the highest value. Amount of damping decrease with rolling speed. Therefore, damping can be ignored for moving. If the hysteresis is changing on the speed of loading and unloading, we call it rate-dependent hysteresis. This graph shows the characteristics of a bias tire and the radial tire, respectively. You can recognize that a radial tire is softer than a bias tire. If you draw the constant force line, or if you draw the constant displacement line, uh, the value of a radial tire is lower than that of a bias tire in the constant displacement line. This means that you have to put more force to the bias tire to have the same displacement as that of a radial tire. Therefore, radial tire is softer than bias tire. At the constant force line, you have the more displacement in the radial tire than in the bias tire. Therefore, as the same result, the radial tire is softer than bias tire. Let's move to the longitudinal static diffraction. Uh, here we have a force displacement curve. Uh, we can get uh, this result uh, by increasing the load very slowly from zero with a constant load in z direction here. As in the vertical loading, a radial is also softer than a bias tire here in the longitudinal direction because of a lower stiffness of a structure between thread and bit wire. 
here we have a bit wire here and we have a thread in the outside of a tire circumferentially the same thing happens in the uh, lateral loading a uh, radial is also uh, softer than a biased tire this much in the lateral direction uh, because of a lower stiffness of a structure between thread and the bead wire this graph uh, shows the moment diffraction curve uh, when the moment about the z-axis is acting on the tire in the steering motion the same thing happens as in the lateral loading a radial tire is also softer than a biased tire uh, circumferentially because of a lower stiffness of a structure between thread and the bead wire now the answers to the quiz are crystal clear the answers are number two tire damping decreases with vehicle speed and number four tire damping decreases with the frequency of loading now we have a conclusion in this video tire damping decreases with the vehicle speed tire damping decreases with the frequency of loading the loading and the loading in every direction has hysteresis cycle radial tire is less stiff than bias tire in every direction previous videos will help you get your knowledge deeper on vehicle dynamics i explained the process to calculate the minimum time uh, from 0 to 100 km per hour for all drive types four wheel drive front wheel drive and the rear wheel drive also i explained the stiffness characteristics about radial tire and the bias tire recently i explained the stress distribution of tire with being parked on the level road the next video will be a tire contact patch of dynamic loading what a beautiful graph we have see you at the next video Goodbye, guys.